Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia, and today I'm doing something a little different. First of all, today's video is brought to you by NordVPN. They are sponsoring today's video, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about them further on into the video, but I guess the main thing and why you're here is apps to use when you have no one. Just kidding. Five apps to support your practice and performance. Your personal practice is where you get to spend the most time honing your technical skills. As fun as it is to play with other people, it isn't necessarily realistic to expect the bulk of your development to happen in those environments. In fact, if you're using those settings as a means of developing your individual skills, you might not actually be getting the most out of that particular session, but I digress. As lonely as it sounds, if you're studying music at a university or are keen as a bean for getting good at music, you spend a lot of time by yourself because you're practicing. You haven't got time for socializing. You have to get this to the best standard you possibly can. So today I am going to be sharing with you some of the top applications to assist you in your solo practice or your self-study or basically moments where you need to to work on your voice or your playing and there's no one else around to help you. For each of these apps, I'm going to say what the function of the app is, what I personally like about it slash how I use it and how it might fit into your own practice or performance ecosystem. So let's just dive on in. And my first app, which I absolutely cannot live without, is called iReal B. iReal B, or iReal Pro as it is now called, is at its simplest interpretation, a chart playing app. Put your chart into iReal B and it will play the chords for you in any key, time signature and style at whatever tempo you require. It's a tiny little digital band in your pocket and it is awesome. I do believe this one is on both iOS and Android, so you know, you're in luck. It wouldn't be hyperbolic to say that this app was a crucial part of my uni studies. I used it to practice standards in different styles and keys, improvising over different progressions, and truly testing out different time signatures and tempos. I still, to this day, use iReal Pro for practice, but also to store my jazz and pop charts in my specific key for gigs. The only thing I will mention is that you do have to already know the main melody of whichever song you want to sing or play. So essentially, iReal Pro won't teach you the notes for giant steps, but it will certainly let you practice playing and improvising over that iconic 16 bars until you can claim victory over all 12 keys. Now you might be thinking you have to input all of these charts yourself and iReal Pro has the functionality where you absolutely can create a chart from scratch. But alternatively, you can go to the iReal Pro online forums which have pre-made charts for heaps of different songs in different styles. You just download, import them and that's kinda it, you're good to go. There is a particularly helpful forum if you are a jazz musician which allows you to download something like 1500 different jazz charts. If you are a musician, whether you're a student or a professional or someone who just plays music for fun, if you use charts, I 150% recommend this app for you. It's kind of awesome the amount of things you can get out of it, from practicing songs in different key styles and tempos, to further developing your improvisation skills, or using it to test out different progressions and storing your charts for gigs. Even if you're, say, a singer-songwriter, but you don't necessarily play the guitar or the piano, but you understand chords and the basics of music structure, you have a band in your phone now to test out those progressions. Go on, make that song, I believe in you. If you're just an anything who could use charts, this app becomes like your ride or die. I can't, I can't live without iReal B. I hope I'm not coming on too strong with this recommendation, but that is just how I feel. Now that I've got that one out of the way, I will try to keep the rest of these short and sweet. App number two, App Companist. App Companist kind of gives the game away with its name. It's an accompanist app, and if you are a musical theater or a classical singer, this app is incredibly helpful if you don't have access to or can't afford an accompanist or you just don't have any piano playing friends. It has professional recordings of the melody and accompaniment for solo musical theater and classical repertoire. It doesn't have every single song. I've noticed for musical theater in particular, it only has soloist numbers. So if you need to practice an ensemble number, it might not be in there, but it also has vocal exercises and it's, the subscription for it is fairly reasonable if you factor in just how expensive an accompanist can be. Unlike iReal Pro, this app includes the song melody. App Accompanist allows you to play the melody, putting the vo volume up on the melody or taking the melody completely away 
over the accompanying mu piano music. So it's, it's just piano. It's not like a fully fledged backing track with everything in it, but it's absolutely perfect if you are a singer who is studying classical or studying musical theatre and you want to be able to learn lots of repertoire but you don't necessarily play the piano or have access to someone who's able to spend the time figuring out keys, slowing things down or really going over the same part repeatedly till you have it. App Companist is similar to iReal Pro in that regard because you can in fact change the key and the tempo. And sure, you could definitely learn a lot of these songs from listening to other artists who have recorded it, but let's say their particular key doesn't work for you, you need it down a semitone and then you'd be sweet. You can make that change easily in this app. Even if you did play the piano, there might be some music that is simply too difficult to play and sing to the best of your ability on both instruments. For myself personally, an example could be Sondheim. I like singing Sondheim, but playing the piano accompaniment sometimes makes my brain want to leak out my ears. My piano playing is basically glorified chord bashing. So I see Sondheim and I'm out, I'm out. I can't, I can't play Sondheim. So having an app like this, which will play Sondheim is completely awesome. And I just, it's, it's amazing. So if you want an accompanist in your device, app accompanist, if you're a musical theater or classical, that is going to help you out in that area. Now a quick word on today's sponsor, NordVPN. Because let's be real, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like browsing anonymously and securely. I have a bad habit of connecting to shady Wi-Fi in cafes and airports and other less secure public locations. And I like being able to watch whatever Netflix shows I want and scoff at YouTube telling me that a video isn't available in my country. And basically NordVPN lets me do all that. For up to six connections, NordVPN can double encrypt your data, won't log your internet choice, It'll even block ads for you and will give you faster connection speeds via Nord links to their 5,200 plus servers across 59 countries. Basically, browse what you want securely and anonymously. It's total internet freedom. And if you would like total internet freedom, use the link in the description bar below or by using promo code Julia Nylon on their website. This deal will cover you for two years and gift you one extra month of internet protection. If you use the internet, use NordVPN to get the most out of it for a deal. And we're back. App number three, four score. I shudder at how tedious and heavy life was before I made the switch to storing digital sheet music in a tablet, and my app of choice for reading this sheet music is hands down Fourscore. Fourscore is a brilliant sheet music app that lets you view, annotate, and share your digital sheet music. Fourscore makes my life easier, not just with the storage and annotation aspects, but also because it lets me bookmark. And when I'm doing vocal directing, it allows me to basically scan in a whole vocal score, and then I can bookmark each of the songs and then scribble all over each of them with layers that you can then like make invisible and turn on and off and stuff. So when I'm VDing a show or navigating pieces that are 20 plus pages long, it gives me a fast way of getting to certain sections of the score or piece. Fourscore also has quite a few helpful inbuilt features such as scanning to digitize your paper music, a metronome to remind you of how bad your internal sense of time is, a tiny piano for assisting quick pitches, and a tuner. There's also a recording function, but I definitely use voice memos a lot more than Fourscore when it comes to recording things. I hands down no lie use it every single day of my life in particular in the studio but also when I'm attending rehearsals or practicing all on my own. If you have to do anything with sheet music, it's just it, it's great, it's awesome, I, I love it. And speaking of sheet music, number four on my app slash subscriptions that I like to use is sheetmusicdirect.com. Now, it might seem a little weird saying you can import from music notes into <laughs> full score on the previous one and now basically bring up their competitor. The reason I love Sheet Music Direct is they have a huge range of sheet music available, but if you have their pass system, it basically gives you 50% off the cost of the sheet music. If you smash through the sheet music like I do, or you just need to find a song which will let you play the melody or just change the key, tempo, all of that stuff again. If you would like a service which will transpose the sheet music for you, then this is kind of excellent for that. Now you might be wondering why would I use a service like App Companist and then a service like Sheet Music Direct, don't, don't they do the same thing if Sheet Music Direct can theoretically play the music for me? Yes, absolutely. You probably don't need both. I just like App Companist because of the variety and the fact that it's not an electronic sounding thing that's being played in the music. I just like the fact that it's a piano a little better in App Companist and the fact that I can change how loud the melody is
is, whereas in Sheet Music Direct, you don't have quite as much functionality. The other thing is Sheet Music Direct, you can see the sheet music, it's got all the lyrics on there. App Companies doesn't have any sheet music in it. It's just the audio recordings and then the functions of key, tempo, backing, melody, that kind of stuff. That, that, that's the function of App Companies, whereas Sheet Music Direct allows you to play the whole song. So if you're learning a song and you need to transpose the key and you're not quite sure, if you have their past subscription, it allows you to open up any piece of sheet music without paying for it and just transpose around until you find the key that's right for you. And I've done that quite a few times when I know I haven't needed the sheet music so no, I'm not gonna pay for it, but I just need to double check what key I sing it in because I already know the song and my guitarist already has the chart. I don't need the sheet music. So being able to do that is really functional if you need to make sure you have the correct key for something, but you aren't 100% sure having that pass system there is great if you want to be able to purchase lots of sheet music at 50% off. And also if you want to be able to check things like key and slow things down and nah, have a good time with that, I suppose. So. SheetMusicDirect.com is a service that I use a lot. They do have an accompanying app, but you can't do the, like the pass subscription doesn't work as well in that particular app. It's the website that allows you to have all the functions of being able to change the key and access the sheet music without paying for it. The app itself will only let you access sheet music that you've actually paid for. So if you're buying the sheet music, it can store it for you and then play it and change key and, and all that jazz. But yeah, Sheet Music Direct, I use it a lot. App number five. Ear Master and Harmonomics. No, you didn't miss here. I did just mention two different ear training music theory apps. They're similar, but they go about their business in different ways. I truly like both and recommend using these kinds of apps for two reasons. Reason number one, you do not want to fail your oral classes if you are studying at a music university. Reason number two, the development of your ears is a critical part of being a musician in general, but is especially important for singers. If your brain can't navigate the music, whether that be an organic or an intellectual navigation, why would your voice, which is receiving its instructions from said brain, have a snowball's chance of accurately vocalizing pitch, rhythm, dynamics, or timbre? Your singing or ability to be musically creative, I guess, is restricted by your musical brain. I'm not saying that you have to know music theory in depth. Some of the best musicians have incredible musical brains just from exposure and feeling out the music. But whether it's through formal study or gained organically, your ears at the very least should be challenged and developed. The more your musical brain is exposed to, the better it will navigate that sound or musical idea in the future. And so these are the apps that I like to assist in that development. The first one is Earmaster Music Theory. This is an excellent application for learning music theory and developing your ear. It has different courses which you can purchase within the app for your specific level, whether you are a complete beginner or looking for something more advanced. There's always an explanation when something new is introduced, so it will hold your hand and provide a theoretical structure if you don't have access to a music teacher or a tutor to guide you through theory. I love that. And the end result will be an understanding of rhythm and pitch, which you should theoretically be able to apply to interval scale and chord identification. Harmonomics, on the other hand, assumes you already know what a scale, interval, and chord is. It's my favorite app for smashing as many sounds to identify into my brain as possible. While Earmaster caters perhaps to the learning component a little bit better, Harmonomics is more like running drills so that your ears get faster and more accurate with music elements like intervals, chord progressions, scales, chords. You can get really, really complicated and also really in depth with this kind of app. And you don't have to start it complicated. I mean, the basic settings, if you're brand new to oral training or if you're brand new to some of these, sort of listening skills that you would be encouraged to develop as part of your university training or as part of your music exams if you're an independent uh, musician or someone who's just studying music for fun. If you're new to it, you can go into the settings and always decrease the amount of things you're expected to identify so that you can sort of build up that internal memory of exactly what each of these intervals are and what each of these scales are and develop them in your own time at your own speed. So it's not the end of the world if you can't straight off the bat identify all 12 ascending intervals. Like it's, it's, it's really not. You can just decrease it to two or three until you're definitely sure that you can identify those three and then just add in an extra one and so on and so forth. One of the drawbacks of this app is definitely the fact that you can't get any feedback per se. You kind of have to be able to make sure that you can self monitor to make sure you're being accurate. So you could always use it as like a competition with a friend and just see how many you can get right in a row and that way you're self checking each other. But yeah, if, you, if you've got a really unsteady ears and like can't tell when you're actually wrong, 
then this app might not be for you. But if you're someone who can identify whether something is correct or not after you've had sort of, they play it for you and you can be like, yes, that was right or yes, that was wrong. If you can do that, then this app is great if you're wanting to further develop your oral skills and start to identify and vocalize different things. Overall, I would recommend Earmaster for absolute beginners or those wanting to know a bit more about music theory or the oral building blocks of music. And should you make your way through these programs, there is indeed a full Earmaster program for those wanting more advanced training. On the other side of that, there's harmonomics for drilling the things you can already do and really challenging your accuracy and speed. I will say that Earmaster has a solid rhythm component, which harmonomics does not have. So choose between these two apps based on your needs. They're both pretty good. So that's kind of it. Those are my five apps slash subscriptions that I think are awesome if you're doing self-study at home. The first three in particular, so Full School App Companist and I Real B, those are kind of my ride or dies. I Real B in particular, just because it is so versatile. So I Real B is like my number one forever ride or die. But yeah, Full Score and App Companist are also absolutely brilliant. And what I love doing, what I love doing is having App Companist open in the background because it can play behind other things. So I'll have App Companist open and then Full Score with the sheet music open on top of it. Now I do use my iPad Pro for all three of these apps, but hopefully they are able to be used on a few different kinds of tablets and things. But yeah, I love the fact that I can have it open in the background and at the same time <laughs> be looking at my sheet music and making notes and doing all this cool stuff. Anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to give it a like, click the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it for more just like this one. If there are any apps that you personally have used for your self-study or just musical development at home, leave it down in the comments below i'd love to know what they are or if you've used the ones that i mentioned today let me know and that'd be kind of cool to hear your experience with those apps as well anyways i hope you're staying safe i hope you're staying healthy and i'll see you next time bye guys